Hey everyone, so I thought I'd share with you my mini haul for my violin. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's that time of the year where I have to change my strings. Um, so I've been playing on the Ava Pratsy strings for, mm, I think, over eight months. And I have the Warshall Amber E string, so I think I will be keeping that for a bit. But um, along with the strings that I got, I purchased a couple of rosins. And so I will be comparing um, those to my old ones. And then I decided to get a bow as well. So I will be playing a little bit on my violin to share with you what it sounds like and how it compares with um, my carbon fiber bow. Okay, so let's get started with the rosins first. I have the Melus here and the Gustave Bernardel. And basically, the reason behind me purchasing those is because of the changing weather. Now I've stuck to the Perestro Gold Flex for a long time and I have no problem with using it except <laughs> that my bow, it started slipping so it's losing its bite and this specific rosin, I feel like it, it makes bowing very very smooth and so it's not very ideal for specific bow strokes that I'm practicing. So for example, if I'm playing the Kreutzer number no. 4, it's a little bit of a struggle to catch the string because it's losing its um, tooth. And the rosin that I was using before the Brass of Gold was this one. This is called um, Tomastic Dominant Rosin comes in a tin like this and as you can see it's quite battered because every time I have to open it it's always a struggle and one time I was battling with this tin for so long because I just wanted to play my violin um, and what happened was I was in so much of a hurry that I dropped the tin and this is what happened um, basically I shattered it and that was the end of this one so that's the main reason why i switched to the gold flex because i shattered it and i have no idea how i'm going to put it together um but it's a welcome change because i really enjoy this especially for um, newbies i think you will enjoy it if you haven't tried it before because it makes bowing so smooth um, the only drawback, of course, is that um, you kind of lose that really crisp articulation that you're looking for, maybe if you're doing specific bow techniques. So for the Gold Flex uh, Presso, it comes in a box like this. I really like the way that they designed the holder. I mean, it's just a little thing, but the way that you hold it and the feel when you're applying the rosin, it feels so nice and like it's not gonna go anywhere. So now let's get into the Melis. It comes in a little pouch like this. It's very cute. Um, and the one thing that's missing here is that holder. <laughs> but it's fine. It's a wider type of diameter. It's a little bit flatter. And so I struggle to um, keep it steady with my hand. I think that if if there's a little holder here at the bottom, it would make it easier to um, kind of hold it in place. I believe it's formulated specifically for um, use in colder climates. So we're going into autumn and winter now, and I thought it'd be a good time to test out this type of rosin. It's a little bit stickier, which I like. And um, my first application, I noticed that it's pretty dusty. I'm not sure if that's the usual type of experience that other people has. I'd be interested to know if you're using this specific brand. I I think that it immediately changed the tone of my older bow. Okay, so next up we have the Gustav Bernardel. It comes in this dark um, bluish type of pouch and opens up like the Melus. Uh, inside. I'm not sure what texture of fabric this is, but it's so, so lovely. Same thing as the Melis, it doesn't have that holder at the bottom. 
I wish there was. It, it just makes holding this rosin easier. Um, anyway, I kind of scratched the surface of it. It took a while for me to get the first layer out with my new bow. So this is the one that I have on my new bow at the moment. And I can't be sure if uh, this formulation is specifically made for um, for winter time, but the reason why I got it is because I think I read some reviews about how it makes um, the sound of your bow very well articulated, so it grabs the string um, really well. And my first impression of it is is that it's very very dusty. Um, but I think that's probably common to first application of the rosin until it settles into the hair. Okay, so next up is um, strings. And I got these um, domestic infold reds from a recommendation I got. I believe it was from the video that I made um, where I showed you guys how I... Um, how I put on my strings uh, could be that or something else <laughs> I can't remember but if you want to watch that I will link it in the iCard right here and then I also got a couple of e-strings to try this is the Spira Core and the Warcho um, Amethyst so if you guys are interested in hearing about my thoughts on these um, once I put them on maybe at the three month mark I will write a review on my blog to share with you my thoughts if you guys are interested in hearing what these strings sound like I usually post my practice videos on Instagram and you can find me with my username here okay so now let's talk about bows so you guys will know that I've been using this carbon fiber bow for at least um, well over three years now actually and you can see how worn out it is around this area in that time I've only had it rehaired once and that was last year I believe it was June or July so it's been well over a year since it's rehair and it desperately needs rehairing for sure but I wanted to save it for a little bit longer and um, I wanted to experiment with the rosins that I got so in this bow I have the Mellis rosin so one of the reasons why I decided to go for a new bow is because I was really really intrigued with trying out a hybrid bow so this bow is um, the brand is Vingo Bow Ma and I purchased this online but basically it's um, its core is made out of uh, carbon fiber and it's wrapped around wood so very very curious to try this and also the cost of this bow is less than the cost of a rehair which was very surprising for me so I thought oh, before I have my carbon fiber bow rehaired I might as well try something that's new just to test out and see what I like about it. 